Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at Grid. It's actually running on my system right now through Wine. So, a couple of things you need to know. If you want to reproduce the results that I'm getting in this video, you're going to need to meet a couple of criteria. First and foremost, you're going to need to have an AMD graphics card. You're going to need to use the Radeon open source drivers. Specifically, I'm using the R600G, if I'm not wrong there. You will need the Oibach PPA install. This will get you the latest R600G drivers or whatever driver it is that your Radeon card will use. You need the Wine DRI3 PPA installed as well. So those four things. It, lastly, you also need to enable a little tick in the Wine CFG after you've gotten all of this installed. Basically, if you're an NVIDIA or Intel user, you will need the open source drivers to try and reproduce this, but it's very unlikely that you'll get this working at all, right? Nuvo and the Intel driver I've tried does not work with this. It only works on my ND card, so this is a HD5750. So let's go right ahead into the video and see how it works. Alright, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this. I'm going to start up from a terminal. As you can see, the command here I'm using is Gallium HUD hit FPS, so that we can see the frame rates. So this is the same Steam that I installed Crisis in through Play on Linux, but this time I'm running it through the system-wide Wine, which has been replaced with a Gallium 9 compatible Wine. So I'm just going to go ahead straight into Games, Grid 2, and we go ahead and click Play. So I'm going to start this up at first in windowed mode at 1600 by 900. The Gallium HUD is on, on the top left there. Right now it's showcasing about 30 frames per second, which is... Uh, okay, because this is the movie scene section. Once we get into the game, we're going to see the frame rates itself. Do note that the screen recorder will take away some frame rates. So this is a Gallium 9 focused video. What this means is that we're not using regular old wine to translate it into OpenGL and then to translate it to the graphics driver. Instead, what we're doing is we're taking the direct 3D9 calls directly and sending them straight to the driver. So I'm just going to go to options here. I'm using keyboard and mouse because using a controller does not work. I'm going to go to the graphics settings. 1600 by 900. Multi sampling can be turned on to up to two. I find that that's okay, but I'd rather just have it off entirely while I'm recording. These things off, everything else is off. Nothing needs to be changed there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go straight into the grid world. All right, let's just see if I can get through the first race properly or not. So, so far the keyboard controls work. Frame rates do go up and down, the graph is pretty nice to showcase that. When I'm in the game, if I try and exit afterwards, as in leave the game completely, if I've made any graphical changes, usually the game will crash or just hang, so you'll need to Alt F4. So it doesn't always exit cleanly. Now, I can't skip this part, this is also a movie part, it's not real-time rendering. This is all on a HD5750, not really a new AMD card, but pretty good enough. Should be good enough actually. This is a very old game. Taking quite a while to get through the intro video, but it does work. Now using normal wine or even wine staging with CSMT, I've never gotten this far. The farthest I've ever gotten is to the main menu. Alright, I'm in, I'm controlling it. We're seeing at about what 30, 30 frames per second. Oh crappy patties, that's what happens when I look at the hey gallium. <laughs> so I'm running this. Now, the Gallium HUD isn't a complete miracle. It doesn't improve uh, FPS all around the border. In fact, I can't get Crisis running at all with it. So, Gallium 9 does introduce some sort of regression. Whoa, okay. But it does also improve the areas where normal wine can't get a game running at all, like in the instance of Grid and also Dynasty Warriors 8. Now, I haven't tested this extensively yet, so there may be more games that I've never been able to run before that I can run now. I really hope they start focusing on DX 10 and 11 soon. That would be, oh, that would be a lot more cooler. We're still seeing a 40 frames per second now that all the cars are behind me. Playing pretty dirty here. Oh, I've got to pay attention to the road signs. Okay, let me just try ahead, go ahead and win this race so we can move forward. So far, so good. Staying at above 30 frames per second for the most part. 1600 by 900. I do assume that if I run this at full screen 1080p, it's definitely going to go a lot lower. Now, I'm not sure what kind of performance I'm supposed to expect by using a HD5750 in this game. I'm certain it's supposed to be a lot more than this, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like amazing, like reach 100 or anything like that. I'll have to check it out later on once I Google it. Oh, come on. I definitely need a controller to play these kinds of games. I need the analog sensitivity from the thumbsticks, or thumb pads, or whatever you call them. Using a keyboard left and right just doesn't feel the same. Fighting games, great with keyboard, but not with racing games. Come on, no! Oh, you dirty player, you dirty player. Oh, I think I'm damaged on the on the right. Ah, oh, son of a gun! What a douche nozzle! I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get- Oh, that's what you get! 
Are you serious? Oh my lord! What the AI? Son of a gun! And I was going to at least get second place. Now I'm pretty much screwed. Okay, I'm gonna play a bit dirty here. Yeah, screw y'all. Screw y'all. No honor. <laughs> oh, thank <laughs> never. <laughs> All right, so that's it in window mode. Let's go ahead and see if I can get it into full screen mode. So let's go ahead and start up in full screen mode this time. No window in the background, so it's going to start out like it's it's going to appear as if it's native, even though it's not. Hopefully everything goes well. It did seem to auto detect my screen resolution just now when I tested it. All right, so one is now running in free mode. I go to the games. I go to play grid. Let's see what happens. Should be able to start up no problem. So it automatically detects my screen resolution, which is a very good thing. Uh, I did not set it actually. I just removed the wine window and automatically when I ran it, it brought itself to full screen at 1920 by 1080p. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip this part. Gallium HUD is still up on the top left so you can see the frame rates that I'm getting. I'm going to go ahead and try and go into one race before calling it quits on this video. That's so we can see what the difference in resolution and windowed and full screen mode due to the frame rates that I'm getting. Hello, Donut. You've returned. Are Just you a reminder, this is an AMD HD 5750. It's, it is a rather old card to be totally honest. In fact, I think it's, what, three, four generations old? So let me just go to Grid World. It's still though, it should be a lot more than enough to run this game. I'm just gonna go with the Chevrolet Lassetti. Enter. Allows you to set the difficulty level for each event. Let's see, difficulty is fine. Let's go ahead, go to race. So the whole purpose of this video is really just to showcase what you can do with Gallium 9. Uh, there are things that you can't do. In fact, there's quite a lot of things that you still can't do. There's a lot of games that don't run. This is only for DirectX 9 games. Unlike Wine, which goes all the way back. I believe DirectX 7 and 8 are supported. This one only goes with DirectX 9. Uh, let's, we are in... I think it's rendering in-game right now. Yep, looks like it. Yep. We're looking at about 30 frames per second still. Remember, I'm recording the screen at the same time as well I'm recording from my Blue Yeti microphone. So I am taxing the system quite a bit. Oh, okay. Oh, my lord. Oh, I just totaled in. I forget how do you change the view of the car. Pretty sure you can. Ah, there we go. See. See if I can get. There we go. Now we're talking. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Oh. <laughs> I screwed that up big time. And I didn't check what the frame rates were. Shut your face, son. No, I want to redo it. Oh my lord, stop talking. I just want to redo it. Is it escape? I guess it's escape. Restart race. Okay, let me go ahead and jump straight into the first... Yes, right off the bat. I'm starting off in the first person view. I gotta be honest, this is the only grid that has a really good first person view. Every other grid has been pretty much pathetic. Grid 2 doesn't have a first person view. And Grid Auto Sports 1 is really cheap. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. It's hard for me to try and adjust uh, what the left and right sensitivity is when using a keyboard. Okay. Sort of doing well, not so good. Oh, that was close. That was too close. I'm not looking at the frame rates. Sorry, you're gonna have to look at them yourself. I'm not gonna be commentating on it. I just want to win this race. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, get to the chapter. Oh, yep, 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 doing okay, doing okay. I'm actually starting to gain some positions here. I really wish this worked with the controller, it'd be so much better. Oh my lord, I am blind. I looked at that black part and I thought that was a corner. My god. What position am I? 7 of 12. Oh, that is bad. Oh my goodness. I must have really trashed my car. Okay, doing okay. Oh, he trashed himself. Not my fault. Come on, come on. Let me just try and catch up. Try and catch up. I don't believe I have nitro, so I can't cheat my way out of this. <laughs> break, 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 break. God dang it. Oh, make that turn. Make that turn. At least catch up. At least catch up. I want to reduce the time. Reduce the time. I'm not good at corners. Oof, oof. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I got a fifth position! So dirty though! <laughs> oh, and that's what I get. That is what I get. 
wait a second, did the mirror just... Oh, it completely broke. I thought it, I thought it repaired itself. I guess I'm out in the open air right now. How do I check behind me? That's a good question. I really want to know how do I look behind me. I get what the keys are. How many laps? Two of three. Come on, I think I can get into third position at the very least. I'm definitely feeling the damage my car has. Oh, my goodness. That was close. Almost hit him. Oh my lord, oh my lord, come on, come on, let's make this a Gallium 9 win. Oh my goodness. Let's make that turn, nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. I'm coming in too sharp, I'm coming way too sharp. I need to be a little bit more lenient on the turns. Yep, that was a clean, that was a clean one, I didn't hit anybody. Come on, let's get that position. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, that was my bad. <laughs> I do not feel any sympathy for you because you are AI. Oh, yes. Anything for the first position. Anything. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, grid players are going to loathe this. People like clean players, not dirty players. As long as I get the first position. Come on, baby. Still looking at side 30 FPS. Oh, my goodness. I actually want to look at the damage on the car. That's insane. All right, so that was pretty darn good. Let's see if I can go ahead and skip this. I'm done here. Continue. That was awesome sauce. Okay, so now we know it works in window mode and full screen mode. I've gone between two races now. It looks like I think I'd be able to play this from beginning to end. However, exiting the game still is pretty much uh, a problem. When you exit the game, it'll almost always crash or hang. Sometimes you have to Alt F4. Other times you're safe when handles it properly. So let me just go ahead and exit this. So that's pretty much going to be it for this video guys. I even gave you some of the frame rates on the top left so you can see what it is just to reconfirm the options. I am at 1920 by 1080p. Multi sampling is off. So if I'm on this old card and I can do this well, I'm assuming those on the 6000, 7000 and R7, R9 series should do a lot better. Hopefully when the R300 series comes out, it'll be even better. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the game. Let's see if it cleanly exit or not. It might hang. Let's just take a look here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and click Alt F4. Let's see if that does it. Yep, okay, Alt F4 did do it. So that is it for this gameplay video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching and thank you for watching.